What's up dudes, Chooch back with another video and today we're looking at this right here This is the King Song S18. We're out here riding around on this bad boy and this is some long lost footage guys So this was supposed to be the first video I put up of the King Song S18 But I lost the SD, the, uh, SD card and it was basically a micro SD card And um, you know how those things get misplaced. I actually vacuumed it up. The cat gets on top of the computer and she knocks the SD cards off and then I vacuum them up. So it was lost forever. I found it, we're good to go. But um, anyways, this was literally like my first ride. I rode around the city a little bit. I went back, I put these pads on it. And so this can kind of show you what to expect. You know, this is how fast I really adapted to this wheel. This was pretty much within 24 hours of getting it. You know, I was off-roading with it. Um, I'll go over the suspension settings that I was rocking with right here in this video. So in my upper chamber, I was going with 180 PSI. Lower chamber, I was going with 80 PSI. And for my my clicks, my clicks from close, I was doing 14 clicks from close clockwise. So that's what I was rolling with right here. And it was really, really good. I really didn't have much complaints. Um, if you're going to be doing bigger drops, you know, if you're going to be riding off walls, if you're going to be doing some stuff like the one one wheel guys do where you're doing larger like ledge drops and stuff, I would recommend, you know, maybe putting some more pressure in there or whatnot. But I'm a 130 pound rider and this is kind of what you can expect. Um, for off-road and stuff, I mean, some people might like it a little bit, uh, a little bit tighter, you know, like it a little bit firmer suspension. Um, but I kind of like it loose, you know, I really like rocking with this thing loose off-road and being able to um, not necessarily just use the suspension in the way of uh, just soaking stuff up. I mean, it's great. You'll see that right here of just how leisurely this ride is um, compared to, you know, like the last video I put up of the Gatway M Super off-roading on that thing and I love both of them guys like there really isn't um the, but here this is the best way I can put it to describe the difference in off-roading on a King Song S18 or an in motion and then off-roading on a fast wheel like a Gotway um M Super or like a Gotway Monster or something like that the the biggest difference I can say is this is like taking a really nice jeep out like a good high like a good performance jeep out to go trailing on you know, you're not going to be hitting the high speed stuff. You're really just going to be cruising through the trails, having a good time, you know, um, soaking stuff up, you know, really, really um, being strategical in your technique and the way you're riding the terrain, you know. But with the the gotways and, and whatnot, going off-road on those, that's more of a trophy truck style of riding. And pretty much your suspension off-roading on those type of wheels comes from your speed, you know. If you're riding at a, at a low speed on those gotways or any unicycle, I should say, out there that does not have suspension on it, if you're riding at a lower speed, you're going to feel every single bump. And with this wheel, that is absolutely not the case. You can really ride at lower speeds off-road and then really enjoy it in a different way, you know? And you can see right here, I'm not flying or anything like you see me on the gotways, but I'm really having a good time. You know, this wheel, um, you see th that section always gets me right here, and it's always running out differently with the rain and whatnot. But you see me on this thing, I'm, I'm having a great time, and it's not beating my knees up. You know, it's not beating my knees up. It's really easy on my back. It's really easy on me, and I can ride it a long time and um, really not get fatigued at all on this thing. You know, this wheel really is a luxury, just kind of cruising around wheel and I mean th this thing is just impressive man it really is just it, it, it's a great wheel and King Song I'm asking y'all again would y'all please send me one of these wheels please send me one of these wheels I don't have this thing anymore and I want one so bad like I really do I want one so bad but I'm in college right now and I really you know I just can't afford buying another wheel after I just bought one you know I can't really justify that um, necessarily I'm not in that position <laughs> of being able to afford every single wheel I want to get you know so but if you send me one I'll gladly ride it and make some videos on it um, but this is about the last footage I think I have of the King Song S18 unfortunately guys but this was a killer video and you can kind of see coming up up here um, my initial impressions of it you know were absolutely great of this thing and just um, take this was literally the first time I had it off-road so I you know, I cruised around the city a little bit and got the feel of it there. And it wasn't even on a full charge, you know. And so I got out here on a full charge and I was so impressed with the speed of it and the off-road capability, you know. Um, I think anybody out there that gets this wheel 
as a first wheel or something like that is just going to be blown away for years to come. My first wheel was Air Wheel X3, then going to the 9x1E+. Plus. That was 7 miles per hour as my first wheel, and then 14 miles per hour as my second wheel. So that's top speed. And something like this with suspension in it that goes 31 miles per hour that you can just luxury cruise like that right there, always that that little bump back there always is just so harsh on those unicycles with the um with no suspension you know you can hit it but you need to have speed going into it and you really have got to have that technique to really flow with it and bend your knees you know so this really lets you just kind of chill back and enjoy the day you know and enjoy the ride hold on let me pause the music real quick so i can copyright if you if you want to do off-road stuff and you, most of the stuff you do off-road is not going over 30 miles an hour. If you want to do some fun off-road stuff, with low impact on your knees and not tear your axles up, this thing is the shit, dude. This is this is this is incredible, man. This this is this is the coolest thing I have ever ridden in my life. This is this is hands down the coolest gadget piece of technology vehicle whatever you want to call it i've ever ridden in my life this is cool don't get me wrong there is a place for the range of the gotway m supers of the gotway monsters of the veteran don't get me wrong i'm not saying that i'm going to get a veteran those have a place in time i can't ride this thing near as far as you can on that but this for this type of riding is the coolest thing in the world hands down you can't beat it i mean this is so cool man so much fun so much fun this is a blast i gotta get some water i'm not going out to ride this thing though like, if you want to have fun on it and not just, not just sit back and use the shock there you can pop off of every little rock and just have so much fun floating on it it's about to rain out here so you can see it was nothing but positive you know response to this wheel and I, I really did love it a lot of people wonder why um, they don't see much King Song S18 footage anymore and why I'm not riding the S18 off-road and whatnot uh, but it's just because I don't have it anymore you know if I did have that wheel absolutely I'd probably be riding it on a lot of these trails you see me on even though I love riding that, that uh, M Super that Gatway M Super on the trails that high speed it, it's just a different beast you know the um, King Song S18, like I said, is just a completely different riding style than the, the Gatway M Super with no suspension. Uh, they're both fun. I love riding both of them off-road, and it can definitely be done. You know, you can ride some very t rough terrain, su surprisingly, with a suspensionless unicycle. Um, but at the same time, it's just, a, like this right here, it's just like riding on a pillow. It is incredible. It is, it's your feet don't get fatigued like any of you guys out there that have to stop whenever you're a new rider um when your feet get fatigued you know like my whenever i started riding my pinky toes would always go to sleep my outside pinky toes would always go to sleep and w one way i would fix this is um on my m super i would just flip it around and i would wouldn't oh, ride man. it in reverse it but i would so just cool. ride it with it facing in reverse so cool. and it would just kind of be a little bit different pattern i guess a different a different placement for my toes or whatever and it would feel okay after about a mile and then i could turn it back around so that's one thing y'all can do out there that if you if your feet are getting fatigued literally just turn the unicycle around and just ride it backwards but you can ride it forward basically like you're doing it normal but you just have it facing backwards and it's just because the uh, the tilt angle it fatigues your foot just sitting in, in that same angle for a long period of time and that's one really easy way to fix that but anyways uh you know off-road stuff like this i'm telling you it, it's a lot of fun and uh, you just can't go quite as fast on the very open stuff but a lot of the times you're not really going over 30 miles an hour off-road on trails you know so this really is the perfect wheel and if I had it, you would certainly see it in a lot of these rides. Like a lot of these rides, like for example, that last one I was on, um, you know, it was fun, you know, getting loose in, in some of that dirt, and, you know, having that insane 100 volt power of just like really ripping. Um, you can't 
you can't dispute that. That's a ton of fun off-road, you know, having that crazy power under your feet like that, that high torque Gatway is next level having that thing off-road. I love that wheel off-road, the, the Gatway high torque. I mean, it's just a different, different beast, you know, it's just a, a whole different way of riding. And I think, for example, I think this wheel right here, you can really ride it off-road without really having uh, pads, for example, like any jump pads. Like, jump pads would definitely help on this wheel and definitely be fun, but I think this wheel you can really get away with it because whenever rocks come up or unexpected obstacles or anything like that, this will just kind of soak it up. Whenever you're riding on a suspensionless unicycle or whatever, it really, really helps uh, having jump pads on there because you can... Uh, unweight and kind of get over something you know if it's if you're really boogieing down a trail or something and there's a rock or something in front of you you know sometimes it's last ditch you really only have one option of just jumping or going up over it you know kind of like skateboarding you, just, you know your best option of sometimes is just the to kind of manual over it or ollie over the obstacle instead of going over it because you know if you go if you hit a manhole or something like that going 20 on a skateboard you're just going to impact but this thing will soak it up you know this is kind of like um i guess to put it in skateboard perspective you know this is your your your, your thing wheels on your longboard type ride and then the gotway is your trick board you know with the loud that are hitting the cracks on the sidewalk and whatnot so that's kind of the difference in the two but they're still both fun and they're still great in different circumstances you know so um but anyways the uh, king song s18 guys i love this wheel um hopefully i can get it my hands on one soon you know i told you a lot i would um life has gotten in the way man i've really been wrapped up with college focusing on that you know really focus on, on getting that taken care of and um, taking advantage of these online classes, you know, I can really take a lot of them, get through it pretty quick, you know. So getting that done, guys. And uh, hopefully I can get some more rides in here soon. And I'm going to be riding all winter long. Snow is not holding me back, guys. So winter rides coming up, snow rides coming up too. You Stay get tuned. all the latest electric unicycles linked right below, guys. E-Wheels is where you want to go for all of the United States customer base and for all of you guys everywhere else in the world, E-Rides. Both are right below, both are affiliate links, and with the E-Rides, use code CHOOCH5 and you can get a discount on your purchase. And also, down below, I'm a proud member of the Lazy Rolling team and all the armor jackets that I'm wearing, you can get a 20% discount using code CHOOCH at LazyRolling.com. Thank you guys, I'll see you on the next one.